Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be the final instalment in my recommendations based on book covers and the colour of the rainbow. Now I was doing the uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. However, indigo and violet to me are both purple. Um, probably the best illustration is, have you seen uh, The Devil Wears Prada? And specifically the scene where they're looking at various blue garments and Anne Hathaway comes in and says, well, they're all blue. And then gets a lecture from Meryl Streep's character about all the different shades of blue and how they... Yes, that's me. I'm Anne Hathaway. So basically I'm going to put Indigo and Violet into one video and I'm just going to talk about purple covers because I can't tell the difference. So the first book that I'm going to talk about is The Ending I Want by Samantha Towell. This is a romance novel and it's about a young woman who has received a diagnosis of cancer and she's decided that instead of fighting it, she's going to give in and she's going to let it take her. However, along the way, she meets a young man who she falls in love with. She tries to keep him at a distance because she knows that she's dying. Um, and then he finds out and he then wants her to fight. However, she protests that she should choose the time and how she goes and how she lives her life in the run up to that. Um, and it's about the push and pull and it's about her realising that life is worth living for. And I read it a few years ago. I really enjoyed it. It's one that I look at and think, oh, I really must reread it haven't got round to it yet um with with romance i don't tend to reread very often um so i do tend to move on to the next ones but yes this is one that has stayed with me and i would like to reread again in the future the next book i'm going to recommend is the first book in another series that i've been reading and that is naked in death and these are by jd robb these are futuristic uh, dystopian utopian cross um crime fiction novels it's based around eve dallas who is a homicide detective with the new york police and security department and rourke um the man she meets and falls in love with it's basically follows eve and rourke um as they go about solving murders together um and how eve learns about love and life and doing things other than just you know solving crime and they're quite funny i really enjoy them i have put um reading them on the back burner for now i got a bit burnt out on them um i think i got about 20 books into the series before i had to stop um there are another 40 in the series beyond that uh, and I will go back to them at some stage because I do want to continue the story. I, I do enjoy crime fiction, um, but at the moment they're not for me. But if you want um, a crime a series that's ongoing um, that you can dip in and out of, then, then give this series a go. The next book I'm going to talk to you about is a middle grade book, and that is Starfell, Willow Moss and The Lost Day. This is one that I read recently and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's about a young witch called Willow Moss and her only power is that she has the ability to find lost things. And she's approached by a very powerful witch one day to find help find last Tuesday because it's disappeared and it's causing all sorts of havoc. It's about Willow's journey as she um, goes to find that day and the friends she meets along the way and magic and they're just really great books. I really, really enjoyed this one. I've got the second book on the shelf ready to go. Just need to get around to reading it. As with all my books, I need to get around to reading them. Um, but I just have too many. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to the day where I have a TBR of less than 50. Um, saying that, I've got more than 400 at the moment. So uh, that, that day's yet to quite a way off in the future. However, Starfell, it is a great middle grade book. If you want something other than Harry Potter for your child or you don't feel your child is quite ready for Harry Potter, I think Willow Moss would definitely fill that gap for you um, because I really enjoyed it. So, And it does teach them about friendship and I thoroughly, like I say, thoroughly enjoyed them. 
and the next book that I'm going to put up is part of a series but it's my favourite one of a series and that is The Voyage of the Dawn Treader by C.S. Lewis. It's the fifth fifth book in the Chronicles of Narnia series. Um, this is a YA, middle grade YA crossover series about children who get pulled into a fantastical world, a fantastical land called Narnia and they have to defeat evil. Um, in this book they're going on a journey, uh, the two children that have been pulled in and they are going to find some lost knights and the lost prince. I really enjoyed this. This is the favourite of mine of the entire series. I've read them all. I reread them. I think I finished rereading them earlier this year and I do recommend them. Um, I think my nephew's read them and he's enjoyed them but he's quite an advanced read of his age and I think they have lots to teach young children. Um, they are quite steeped in religion sometimes if you know that that's what you're looking for uh so do go if you if that does cause you an issue then do go into them with that in mind but for any child i do recommend them um i've i've been reading them over and over since i was about eight nine years old i think um and they're just they're they're just a long time favorite and will never not recommend them and the final book uh, of this video and the final book of this series I'm going to recommend I have saved the best till last this is one of my all-time favorite books it is a book that I have read and reread many times since I discovered it um maybe pre-teen early teen mum might not have let me read it before then um but that book is The Magic Cottage by James Herbert this is my restored to my shelf physical copy um i my mum got rid of her copy years ago, um, which we're all lamenting because it was a hard copy as well, um, hardcover copy. But I recently picked this one up when I went to London um, to go shopping, book shopping for the day. And it's about a young couple who are out uh, driving around and they come across this cottage, which turns out is up for sale they decide to buy it they've fallen in love with it and it's about the spooky goings-on that happen after they take possession there is a cult um occupying a nearby property and the previous owner of the cottage and the cult do not agree and it's about how that affects the lives of the couple who have then bought the magic cottage and i just absolutely love it i haven't reread it for a while I do need to reread it again. Um, <clears throat> now we're in the season where nights are really dark. I might just pick it up because it's the perfect dark night read, um, dark evening read. So look out for this in a wrap up very, very soon. So that's it. That's the final recommendations based on the book covers colours. Did you see any books in there that you've read? If you have, let me know. Or alternatively, if you've got any uh, cover, purple covered books um, that you want to recommend, then leave them in the comments down below. I'll chat to you all there. I'd love to get recommendations from you guys as well. And if you haven't already, then please do like and subscribe to my channel. I put videos up every Monday at 6.30pm UK time and I will see you all again in the next one. Bye. Bye.